So far, more than 4,000 of our viewers have entered our Countdown for Christmas sweepstakes. Four of them will take home a brand new 65-inch TV. And tonight, we're thrilled to announce the first winner, Danny Grable. You are the winner of our Insider competition. Our contest to win a brand new TV. Yep, a brand new TV. I called him this afternoon with the good news, and he stopped by a short time later to pick up his prize. Get this, the timing couldn't be better because Danny's TV recently stopped working. Oh my. Ah, oh, timing is everything, right? <laughs> if you didn't win, don't give up. We still have three brand new TVs to give away. The deadline to enter this contest is December 21st, but you must be a News 4 Jacks insider to enter. And you know, I could really tell that he wasn't sure if it was the real thing or, or like a crank call. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of hit home. He said his wife wouldn't have words for about 30 minutes once he told her. Wow. Can you believe that? Their TV just went out. I think they're having a good night tonight. And, and there are three more winners out there. We can't wait to bring you their stories as well. Thank you for watching and stay with us. There's more to come. The news continues with Tarek and Joy right after the break. Auto glass troubles? Get your windshield repaired or replaced by the local glass professionals at Lee and Kate's Glass. Call us today. At Honda, we take the holidays seriously. Visit Happy Honda Days to get a great offer on the CRV. Hi, I'm attorney Robert Rubenstein, and this is Rubenstein's Rules for Personal Injury. Rule number one, get an attorney. When you or a loved one have been injured by another's negligence, an experienced attorney can make a huge difference. At Rubenstein Law, we will find all of the insurance, make sure your injuries are documented, and work to get you the best result. While each case is different, a well-known insurance company's own study showed people with a lawyer on average got more money. Call Rubenstein Law at 1-800-FL-LEGAL. Whether you've had an injury or you're updating your forever home, HomeAbility offers solutions to keep you mobile and safe. From ramps, lifts, and scooters to bathroom safety, visit HomeAbility for high-quality products available to purchase or rent. Maybe it's how many years they've spent behind a clipboard. Or maybe it's how quickly they learned your spouse's first name. But there's a reason why you chose your doctor in the first place. At Ambetter, we know nothing's more important than having access to the doctors you trust at a price you can afford. Which is why our network has a large number of high-quality doctors to take care of your health. Enroll in Ambetter today. I'm Kelly Leffler. I approve this message. Nobody can serve God and the military. Raphael Warnock attacks our military. Police power, the kind of gangster and thug mentality. Warnock attacks our police. Somebody's got to open up the jails. Raphael Warnock is dangerous. No wonder he defended this. Not God bless America. God America. Raphael Warnock. The Radicals Radical. At Harrell & Harrell, it's free to meet with us. In fact, there's no cost or fee unless we're successful. That's our promise to you. If you've been injured, call us, 251-1111. At Honda, we take the holidays seriously. Visit Happy Honda Days to get a great offer on the HRV. News 4 Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. It's a major step forward to getting Americans a COVID-19 vaccine. An FDA advisory committee has voted to recommend emergency use authorization for a Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. Now the full FDA could grant authorizations for use of that vaccine as early as tomorrow. It comes as cases continue to spike across the U.S. Just yesterday, the country reported its deadliest day since the pandemic began with 3,100 deaths reported. And here in Florida, we're also continuing to see a rise in cases. Today, the health department added more than 11,000 new cases to the state's total. That's the highest single day increase in cases since July. Florida has now seen more than 1,094,000 cases since the pandemic began in March. The state also added 135 new coronavirus-related deaths today, 12 of those here in Northeast Florida. Florida's death toll now sits at more than 19,800. Also today, Georgia reported a rec record daily increase in new cases, more than 6,100 added since yesterday. 
That far surpasses the state's last single day record of a little more than 5,000 cases reported Friday. Georgia has now seen more than 462,000 confirmed COVID-19 cases since the pandemic began in March. The state also added 55 more deaths today, bringing the death toll to a little more than 9,100. And now we're learning even though the FDA is expected to authorize emergency use of Pfizer's vaccine, it's not the final step in the process. So how long before you could get inoculated? Nadia Romero breaks it down for us. As COVID-19 continues to ravage the country, Americans getting a vaccine could stop the spread in its tracks. We have found this information to be adequate to support uh, emergency use authorization of, of the vaccine. From the FDA to the CDC, where a committee there must also give the vaccine a green light. And if that happens... 20 million people should get vaccinated in just the next several weeks. So here's how Pfizer-BioNTech says it'll happen. Within 24 hours of the FDA's emergency authorization, much of the vaccine will be shipped from Pfizer's facility in Michigan. First, going to hospitals and pharmacies nationwide that partner with the federal government. Next, healthcare workers and residents in long-term care facilities are at the top of the list to get the vaccine. But that timeline could depend on which state you live in. Take Illinois, for example. Yes, there are a lot of people in that priority group, and yes, we want to make sure we get it to you, but no, it won't happen on day one or week one or maybe even week two. So patience will be the name of the game. So for younger, relatively healthy, non-essential workers. End of March, early April. Once you get into April, probably full blast with those individuals. Some details are still being ironed out, but the goal is to make it as simple as getting a seasonal flu shot. They'll come in at their scheduled time. They'll meet with the pharmacist or technician. They'll get their flu shot. They'll get a record card with the vaccination that they that they got. Um, we'll also email them that record. In Washington, Nadia Romero, Channel 4, the local station. Tonight, we're hearing from a Jacksonville man who says he participated in clinical trials for Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine in July and has felt fine ever since. He says he's taken three coronavirus tests since then and has not tested positive ones. The reason I got into it was because I wanted to help out in the community as much as possible. I'm around a lot of different uh, groups of people, whether they're senior adults, college age students or teenagers. And um, the least I could do was be involved. Exactly a week from today, Moderna is going before the FDA for approval of its vaccine. If approved, Bruce Kellenhofer says in January he'll be vaccinated and find out if during the trials he was given the real vaccine or the placebo. Now, with all this talk of a coronavirus vaccine coming soon, experts do have a warning. They say even if you are vaccinated, you still need to wear a mask in public. That's because even though the vaccine is likely to protect you from getting COVID-19, it's not clear it will keep you from potentially spreading it to others. We can't rip off our mask just because we've had our vaccines until we know for sure if that means we're not getting asymptomatic disease that we could spread. And then the other thing we don't know is how long the protection will last. Both Pfizer and Moderna's trials only tracked vaccinated people who became sick with COVID-19, not the possibility that some who were vaccinated might have become infected without developing symptoms. Hospitals across the United States are filling up fast amid the second wave of COVID-19, according to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. A third of hospitals nationwide had more than 90% of their ICU beds occupied last week. COVID patients occupied 28% of inpatient beds and 46% of staffed ICU beds. That's up from 19% and 37% respectively in the first week of November. And unemployment claims in the United States have hit their highest level since mid-September. Today, the Labor Department reported another 853,000 Americans filed for first-time unemployment benefits last week. And nearly 428,000 people filed claims under the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, which helps those who are self-employed. And continued jobless claims rose to 5.8 million. For as little as $99, you'll soon be able to perform your own COVID-19 test. Walmart.com and Sam's Club are now selling at-home test kits. But first, you have to take an online health assessment, which will give you a doctor's order to take the test. The test kit will then be shipped to your home where you'll do your own nasal swab, and then you send it back. Results will come via email between 28 to 48 hours after the lab receives your test. 
The at-home test is not approved by the FDA, but it does have an emergency use authorization. This just in, we just got off the phone with former Jaguars player Lewis Nix, who was shot on the north side while filling his car tires with air. Nix had surgery after the bullet ricocheted off his sternum and went into his lung. News for Jax just spoke with him about his recovery. I'm doing fine, you know, just trying to figure out where we go from here. Um, I have my family next to me, have a, you know, my Notre Dame community there reaching out to me daily from social media, phone calls, to text, to email. So, you know, that's refreshing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's really all I need right now, just that good energy in the air, right. people around me, just giving me hope and, you know, you know, I'm getting through it. It's just, you know, it's an unfortunate situation. I just hope this doesn't happen to anybody else. Jacksonville police released these images of a suspect.